used to be a cast member. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I used to work in Fantasyland. In oh, my gosh, amazing. Yes, it was like the best, I guess, the best thing I did in my life. I mean, I, well, come on back. <laughs> I really wish I, I cried when I entered here today. Because I remember, yeah, it was 10 years ago, but it was the best time of my life. Yeah, oh, that's so nice to hear that. Se tentar reconectar as pessoas, você será destruída. Isso é maior do que os ancestrais. Maior do que nós. O oceano inteiro conta com a gente. Moana 2. Já pode transformar. Isso é sério! Parece que eu tô de brincadeira. So, um, my first question is actually, I really, I really wanted to tell you this. I have a little cousin. She is a curly girl of four years, and she loves Moana. She always says that she is the baby Moana. And this is so important because she has curly hair and she doesn't want it to, to change it because she says, I'm a Disney princess because I do have curly hair just like Moana. This is amazing. And this is a thing that really gets me emotional every time she says it. Uh, she just has her birthday. It, it was Moana themed. She was dressing like Moana. This is so important because this is re like representation. That, that's what we are always talking about and trying to change the world. For you, what's the importance of one thing like this? A little child that wants her hair to be like her hair because of a Disney princess. Uh, well, honestly, that makes me emotional too. I, I love hearing, thank you for that story. It's so nice to hear it. Um, it's incredibly important that, that people see themselves represented on screen. That can be in any number of ways, but I think Something that, that we always hope and strive for is that people feel this deep connection to the story and these characters. Um, and uh, same, same for the people making it, you know? I think uh, Moana is a story of a character trying to figure herself out, like we all do. Um, there are all those little moments, right? Uh, you know, having, having someone with curly hair look at Moana and say, that's like me. I remember on Encanto, we had first sort of Disney heroine with glasses. And I remember a lot of people come up and say, I have glasses and that's the same thing. So. I think uh, as we're continuing to tell the stories, it's always important uh, to think about who hasn't seen themselves on that screen before and to find ways to, to celebrate that. Yeah, and yeah, now you are the chief of creative office for Walt Disney World. So do you think that this is important talking? Do you guys talk about it or just happening? Oh, no. It's, I mean, I'd say that uh, trying to figure out what our next stories are is really important. I think in this new role for me, um, it's a it's it's always a priority to make sure that no matter where you are in the world that that you see yourself and that that you feel this deep connection. So 100% that's something that, that we talk about and debate. And I think that in our stories heading into the future, you're going to continue to see those. And another subject that is very important and, and Moana talks about it's the environment and how we are, we're dealing with it. Uh, and we are living really difficult times for the environment and the whole world. Uh, how is this important for Moana to talk about it? Well, <clears throat> I think uh, across the Pacific, uh, everywhere, but I think in our story specifically, um, nature is one and the same. You know, I think we always talk about there's many islands that make up the Pacific Islands, um, but it's uh, it's considered that the, the Pacific connects everybody, that it's sort of one giant place, not isolated. And so the notion of, uh, of nature being a part of these stories, being important, being something that uh, we should uh, take care of and respect is critical. Uh, I'd say... I had the luxury of, of um, you know, Zootopia. It's an animal world that is surrounded by nature. Encanto also, you know, um, being surrounded by nature. So for me personally, it is really important. It's something we need to take care of. Um, and it's also just beautiful and important uh, and um, something that I love to represent in our stories. And uh, talking just really quick about Zootopia, we do have a, um, a little joke inside of all Brazilians of a character of uh, the Zootopia, the... Pop. Yeah. Sloth, yeah. Yeah, and everyone loves this character in Brazil because yeah. they, they always say that it's like a character. Yeah. It's, it's something from Brazil, I mean, yeah. yeah. Liz, do a, um, a Brazilian movie for Disney. I think that sounds like it would make a lot of sense. I would love, I mean, I, I, this is my first trip to Brazil. This, I've never been here before and I've wanted to go for so long. I've just been like blown away by how beautiful it is. The spending time with everybody here is amazing. So I would love to do a movie set in Brazil. And Brazil is so huge you right you do yeah. you do have a lot of different characters yeah, you can have for here sure. yeah. yeah and for you what's the biggest difficulty of doing a sequel um you know i think it's uh, it, uh both moana 2 and zootopia 2 are the first sequel story that i've ever worked on um i think um it's figuring out how do you continue those stories in a way that feels natural to the characters experiencing it. we don't want to just 
put them on another adventure for the sake of that. Uh, it is continuing their character evolution. Um, and so I'd say with Mana specifically, she's a character who had to figure out who she was. It was a story about identity in the first film. Uh, but the nice thing is that we never stop figuring out who we are. Things happen in your life and everything changes and, and you have to figure yourself out all over again. So I'd say it was, it was a challenge to figure out what type of story, but it always comes back to character. And so we just said, what would Moana do next? She became a Wayfinder. There's a whole ocean out there for her to discover what she's gonna do now. Wow.